Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Four Eyes Academia podcast. This is episode 33 and today we'll be discussing everything to do with second lead syndrome in anime and dramas. And today I'm joined by Prez aka Huda, Ifat aka the Bakihime, Shakira, Abby. So I know we're all veterans in this thing so we'll have a lot to discuss. So this week in news we just have one thing to discuss. And that is the new anime being developed by Idris and Sabrina Elba. So just to read the article, it says Crunchyroll has announced that it's developing the dark fantasy animated series called Dantai, which is a working title with Idris and Sabrina Elba. Idris's Green Door Pictures and Sabrina's Pink Towel Pictures are partnering for the project. Crunchyroll describes the series as an Afrofuturistic science fiction series set in a city where the rise of biotechnology has created an ever-widening gap between the haves and have-nots. Two rising stars from either side of this divide are pitted against each other in a story that will ultimately explore equality and kinship within a corrupt society. So, mm. I personally didn't know that. Good. It sounds cool. That I didn't know Sabrina owned a production company. Mm. <laughs> That's, That's my queen. Yeah, my queen. <laughs> that Honestly. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. That sounds quite cool. That. that does sound cool. I'm just wondering, like, so is it going to be a mecca? Is it going to be? Yeah. <laughs> the main yeah, because I have to rethink. <laughs> I have to rethink. Oh, Somali flag. Down oh, um, um, I cannot condone. Going, oh, going by the synopsis, I don't think there's. If there was going to be a mecca, there would have been robots somewhere. I mean, biotechnology. Totally sci-fi. Biotechnology. Well, mecca is very specific. Mecca is like yeah, giant fighting very robots. Much. Yeah, Just because there's true. robots doesn't mean it's mecca. Yeah. Like, it's not mecca. That's so. true. You, you, have, you don't have to worry. I hope it's better than Exxon. That's what I'm going to say. Do you know what? I, I reckon the animation will come out decent. My problem is like, what? How's this doing? I hope it doesn't come up like Jaden Smith's animation. Because <laughs> oh yeah! I will absolutely not represent. Like, I'm not, <laughs> if I'm it was not. a Netflix thing, then huh? maybe. If it was a Netflix up. thing, it would be yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Mm. And it's like Western storytelling is so different to like Completely. Japanese storytelling. So I don't know. They can even fit, you know, the vibe of anime. If or if that's not even what they're going for, and they yeah. just want the anime look, but they'll make it all different. I don't know. Do you know what? I'm going to give it a crack. Do you know what I mean? I'm not yeah, one I'll, to I'll judge. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's all cat them. water watching it. I trust, I trust them. Mm. I'm just scared because Crunchyroll. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of Crunchyroll, we should mention... Yo, what's that dark skin behaviour the other day? That day. Um, <laughs> yeah. Bring it up, bring it up. I think, yeah. I think it's, um, I think we sent it in the chat. Huh. Dark skin behaviour. <laughs> I mean, I've been off socials, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. So it, the news, it says, I became, I can't find the tweet anymore because obviously it got deleted after they got vlogged on Twitter. Not people were <laughs> quick. Do you know what? I think I might have liked a screenshot. Let me have a look. I've got the screenshot. Oh, okay. It says, news, I became a dark skinned gal, so I tried to bang my best friend. That's the name of the show. Hentai, Hentai manga gets TV anime, not safe for work. More at this link. And people are just like, these two very tanned individuals are dark skinned. Like, we need <laughs> to start dialogue. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think they, they were barely tanned, first of all. Yeah, they yeah. just got I don't know where they're getting dark skin from. I guess, I guess, compared to honestly, Gemma other... Collins is darker than them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gemma Collins. Yeah. Listen, Crunchyroll, I don't know what you were thinking. This is this is what I mean. Like, do you guys not have any black people in your social media team? Like, before you before you tweeted that, I don't know. Like, is it gonna? Yeah. I don't know. I know. I, I, I know where people are coming from with this because the tweet was very like, hmm. But I think it's more of an issue of Crunchyroll has all this money, as showcased by know. all the anime they churn out, good and bad. Every season. Do you think maybe they but, got the copy from a Japanese studio? That's what I'm saying. Then, they didn't yeah. do their due diligence to do the proper translation yeah. because yeah. the dark skin gal. There's the whole thing about gyaru culture in Japan. You could say the tan. whole like aesthetic is being like very tan and very yeah. dark. So it's they've like, got a culture of that. Of, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the, the girls that like flashy hair, and flashy hair, flashy makeup, light makeup. Yeah. You know, in Nana, you know, the um, Hatchie's <clears throat> older sister or younger sister, 
Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So she was like ridiculously yeah. yeah. I think it's just the translation. They it's really the translation. Put, like, translation is yeah. They didn't put it, and there's no contextualization in the tweet. Like if they put at all anything to do with like Gao or Gyaru, I'm sure people would have been like, okay, what's that? Yeah, we would have understood. They really said Gao. Mm. Like, hold on, what? <laughs> what are you supposed mm. to? I mean, there's so many things wrong with the whole thing. Anyway, like this is high school girls we're talking about. Like, oh really? Were they in high school? Yeah, yeah, because it's <laughs> okay. yeah. That's like that's where mainly dairy culture comes from as well. Like it's oh, that's true. Okay. Way too many things wrong with that. Way too many things wrong. Over sexualizing dark skin girls in high school. Like it really Crunchyroll. Me. Really, is this where you wanna? This is the hill you wanna die. Wait, right there. Wait, right there. <laughs> right there. Yeah, I think where our look at Crunchyroll is just the tweet itself is like you knew how this was gonna be perceived. You could have. Uh, yeah, they wanted <laughs> that could, black outrage. You, you, you know? Yeah, I think brands just know that it gets attention, so they just do it. I was like, you mm, could have. Even if the subject matter itself was problematic, like high school girls and being sexualized and all that stuff, and yeah. they're gonna license it anyway. You could have put, you know, you could have just worded it better. Like, yeah, but it's, it's all about the translation. I'm sorry, we're not yeah. idiots. We're all in the anime community. We know Garu, whatever. So, like, we yeah. would have known if you if you said it in that way. But you really said dark skin gal and mm. put, a, put a lightly tanned <laughs> picture of a of a girl being a high school girl apparently being sexualized. Okay, you really yeah, wanted us but... to to drag you to filth, and that's what people have been doing. So. <laughs> And now on to the main topic of discussion, um, and we are discussing everything to do with secondly syndrome. I can see Shakira's ready. <laughs> right, flip the hair back. Come on, right, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Let's go. We're ready. Let's dive in. <laughs> everything to do with secondly syndrome in dramas and anime, but just to um, be specific here second lead syndrome is a term specific to k-dramas so the way we're using it for anime in this discussion is just to talk about anime love triangles so the mm-hmm. first question and i'm just going to pick on somebody to start off is do you remember your first case of second lead syndrome in a drama and i'm gonna pick on if i <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's Hana Yori Dango, so like the Japanese version of Come, Boys Over Flowers, I think. That's oh, yeah. Yeah, no. The main character was just a no go for me. He was like rude, aggressive, just a hater in general. Why? Why? <laughs> Just why? Whereas the second lead is so loving, care. Why do the loving and caring guys always get slept on? Just why? It's incel bait. <laughs> but if, you're, if you're nice, you're oh not gonna get the girl. No, legit. K dramas will make the perfect, like perfect man, like proper. Let me do the cooking. Let me do the cleaning. Cater yeah. to you, kind of husband material. Facts. And then they'll be like, "You're the second lead. Let's, not let's, the let's, one. You should go for the dickhead." Because like, that's what you deserve. I that's- loved you from day one. I was there before you knew him. Oh, childhood friend as well. Add to that. Listen. <laughs> they put the childhood friend in the bin, guys. <laughs> they really do. They always they get put really in the bin. So, uh, and you know what? It is pretty realistic because girls always go for the for the for, for the, the new guy. bait. <laughs> <laughs> This conversation's are slippery. I was about to say because I don't know if that's appropriate. Honestly, all oh, your the intros—they're uh, coming. I'm, I'm a head out. <laughs> <laughs> the first K drama one, I was just disgusted by she was pretty. I think it's called. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Yeah. There. First of all, he was an asshole. What is your actual problem? He was a dickhead to her, and he was her boss, I think. Yeah, he was. Mhm. He 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 was nasty and then you have your co-worker who is so nice he's good looking you know he's he's charming he's fucking funny you know you've got the banter why what was what was the reason because he was a childhood friend that you were in love with when you were children and like i just i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't understand it i was never rooting for them from the very till the very end i never found them cute i was like you guys suck you went you just, wow you said, wait so like you never warmed to it i think half really, the time one you know i actually oh. preferred her friend the tall one the really pretty one with the yeah main then then no he was so good he was so good i actually i was so pissed off i was like what is this why mm-hmm. did you make the perfect man and then just leave him in the dust 
But you know what? Yeah, sometimes when they make the second lead so perfect and everybody's like, why the hell would you pick the main? It's always like they add like little bits to the first and main, um, the first lead and the main character's relationship. That's kind of like, you know what? You guys just vibe like that's what it is. It's the little it's the little vibes that you got. But um, I haven't even watched that one. So I might have to check that one out. I've realized that like the whole childhood friend kind of trope is used a lot as to why like the two mains should be together. I don't know if I Do you know what? In C dramas, it's kind of the opposite. It's always just like, you know, my hometown, my parents used to say I should be with this person. But now I've come to college, um, universities, like, yeah, I don't want to listen to what my parents say. But then like every time the childhood friend comes around, they're like obsessed with the main they're like we're meant to be together and the person's like ew no i want to be with my college girlfriend yeah childhood friends is um i think it's a bit 50 50 these days i've seen a lot of childhood friends get rejected i don't know if anyone here watched this i watched season one re zero yes that one that one i agree i was team amelia amelia subaru and rem no, I was Team Rev. I was Team Rev. No, no, no. Everyone was Team Rev. Oh, I was Team Rev. I completely oh. forgot. I was like, wait, okay. this doesn't sound right. Everyone no, is Team Rev. Team Rev. Mm-hmm. Team Rev. That, that, that was another woman who doesn't know what she wants. Oh, I hate this. Fucking <laughs> hell. No, he was a dickhead because what the hell? What did he had like two scenes of Amelia and then there's Rem and him. Like they were there this whole time struggling i don't even know what the fuck the, the, plot of the anime is anymore i can't lie like was he moving back in time going for, I, I can't remember but all i know is him and rem went through a lot and you you're choosing amelia for what because she let you sleep on your lap on her lap one time is she pretty yeah they're both cute man. Is cute. Like, rem is cute as hell don't even piss me off and she's got a twin so <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, but and that's, that's a bonus. Yes. Somehow a bonus. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Let me not. Okay. Points were made, but move on. <laughs> <laughs> Before we move on to twelfth place, just to like twist the knife, we have this quote here. Says, I love Amelia, our words any fan of RE0 should know. <laughs> Despite Subaru saying this to Rem for good reason, it did not hurt any less. The love triangle between Amelia, Subaru, and Rem can go on for a long time as Subaru only has eyes for Amelia in a romantic sense. Despite fans wishing for him to love Rem back for how dedicated she is, this love triangle is perhaps going to stay a one way street for a long time, perhaps even until the light novel ends as Rem and Amelia get along quite well. The author hates women because why would you do that? Why would you make her her fight all the time? (laughs) Guys, what is it like seeing a black person in K drama? At first, I was like, gosh, here comes the racism. And it came and it went, and I was like, yeah, and it came. I still it like came. him. It really came. And then and then I was like, but I still like him. He's cute. I think his his, his character wasn't that bad. That's why I wasn't, I mean, you know, he wasn't I like some basketball I player, did, you know, fitting like into that little stereotype. I, just, I didn't like it. Like, if, if he was just a character that happened to be black, then I think I would have liked it. But because they made a whole thing of like, oh yeah, my God, yeah. you're black. But then it would have been uh, weird not addressing the fact that he was black. Let's be honest, they're not that progressive. No, but uh, yeah, true. You see a black guy, and he's the only black guy, and then and it's a new and it's a uh, there's I think the main the thing that put me off a bit was the nightclub scene. But I think that was very um, typical. Like they wasn't gonna let him in a nightclub where they're playing hip hop. Of course not. Why would they? You know, exactly. So it would have been unrealistic. I'm like, come on, who are you fooling? Of course people are gonna look at him and say shit. But it was a very cute story. Like his backstory is really heartwarming. Wasn't he mixed? Isn't he half Korean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and the the um the girl I've forgotten her name. I've forgotten her name, and she was like, "You can't be Korean because you're black." Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I liked okay. his story. It wasn't that obviously, yeah, but it wasn't that bad. Like, I thought I was gonna hate him for being there because I was just like, "Oh my god, they're gonna embarrass." I him. guess it would have um it would have opened like eyes up to the what Koreans who watching and stuff. Do, yeah, the kind of conversations do need to start especially mm. in Korea and Japan, because mm-hmm. the, the way, like, even, like, darker-skinned Koreans and Japanese people get treated, or, like, you know, mixed-race mm-hmm. Korean and Japanese people get treated, they get treated like they're outside, yeah. even though they're born mm. in 
they will still have yeah they'll still have you know, korean and japanese in them it's, it's a lot of this ethno nationalist <laughs> sentiment still like even in to be honest people. even half korean or and half japanese half indonesian people half japanese half yeah any southeast they asian still, in any, yeah Japan they or korea, still forget receive it. a lot of <laughs> hatred yeah. so they're very purist like they're very like no if you're not full japanese and yeah like i remember mm. the miss miss world that represented Japan. She Ooh, was half, yeah. half Pakistani and half Japanese. Yeah. And she they attacked. I think her name was Priyanka out. Yoshikawa, and like the vitriol she received on like even though she won <laughs> Japan. Yeah. Like, it was just. Do because she what? Was I don't know race. what it is about like race in Asia where like. Uh,